Hi everybody, it's me, Jacob, Library Technician at the Longview Public Library. Today I'm going to introduce you to our first pre-K packet of the fall 2022 season, sunflowers. To make the sunflower craft from home, you'll need something to color with, like a marker or some crayons. You'll need a pair of scissors, some tape, some glue, and a pencil. And you'll also need your pre-K packet that you can pick up in the library drive through or at the lower floor desk. Inside the pre-K packet, you'll get the supplemental slip that has the lyrics to the songs, our book recommendations, and our literacy tip. You'll get this sheet of construction paper, a popsicle stick, a paper plate, and some sunflower seeds. So the first step to making this craft is deciding uh, which version you want to do. Um, so there's two different ways to make the craft. Uh, one way is you can just take your scissors and cut along the, um, the ridges, along the paper plate to kind of create the petals. Uh, the other option is that you can um, maybe draw a different design and cut um, out chunks of the paper plate to kind of give it a more like flowery look. Um, so that's what I'm going to do here and I'll show you how to do that. So um, to make your life a little bit easier, uh, you'll use this pencil. And I'm just going to kind of draw like a triangle um, that's sort of tilted. And I'm just going to do that over and over again, um, all the way around the exterior of the plate. And then I'll cut that out. So I've got this all cut out, as you can see. Um, so I basically just cut all these triangles out of the end um, of the paper plate. And now I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to color it. All right, so this flower is all colored in, and our next step is to take our sunflower seeds, and we're just going to glue them um, into the center. All right, so we've got all the seeds onto the flower, and our next step is that we're going to cut out the leaves from our construction paper. All right, so I'm going to take my popsicle stick and my leaves, and I'm going to glue these on to it, and then it'll be all ready to attach to the flower. All right, so as you can see, I've got this uh, popsicle stick attached and I glued the um, leaves onto it. I'm gonna flip this over and so, yeah, I just took a piece of tape and just put it over the back there. And there is our completed flower. All right, so I'm gonna introduce you to our songs for this week. But first, I'm gonna tell you about our literacy tip. So our literacy tip for this week is that gardening is a good activity to do together. Um, you can help build science vocabulary by talking about different as aspects of plants and like how they grow. And it's also a good lesson to teach kids like where their food is grown and how it's grown. And you can also teach them a little bit about uh, nutrition as well. So that's a good, uh, good way to help uh, build that early literacy by spending time in the garden. All right, so I'm gonna introduce you to our first song. It's called I'm a Little Sunflower and I'm going to use uh, our craft here as a prop. So it goes like this. I'm a little sunflower, look and see. Here is my stem and here are my leaves. When the sun comes up, I turn my head and when it goes down, I go to bed. So this next song you can do with a scarf or you can do like um, an old rag or a shirt or something like uh, if you don't have one of these types of scarves, you can use whatever you have on hand. So to start, you're going to roll it up in your hands like so, where you can't really see it. And then the lyrics are this. Here is a green leaf, and here is a green leaf, and that you see makes two. This is a bud that makes a flower. Watch it bloom for you. All right, next we're gonna do our book recommendations for this week. So the first one is checked out, um, but it is a board book called Little Seed by Benson Schum. And uh, it is about a young seed that wants to share the, its love and uh, hug the world. And so it travels all around the world meeting different creatures and finding out different ways uh, to show its affection for them. Next is Sunflowers at Girasoles um, by Gwendolyn Zepeda. And um, so this is a bilingual um, picture book about this girl who um, is gardening with her grandfather. And as she's gardening these different vegetables and such, she also starts uh, working on sunflowers and realizes that she can give them um, both the flowers themselves and the seeds as gifts to her friends. And she can't wait to go and garden with her grandfather some more. 
Next is The Tiny Seed by Eric Carle, and this is a classic, um, and it's about the life cycle of this flower as it transitions from a seed to a beautiful flower here. So um, one of the things I like about this book is that it uses Eric Carle's classic style of um, his very bright, distinctive colors and illustrations. And it's kind of a longer picture book, so it might be for older kids, um, but remember that you don't have to read a um, longer picture book all at once. You can put it down and uh, read it another time if we start to get antsy. Another book that we have that's unfortunately checked out is called A Seed Grows by Antoinette Portis. And it's a picture book about the life cycle of a sunflower that um, covers some scientific terminology, um, especially in the glossary in the back. Um, but it follows the life cycle of a particular uh, sunflower as it goes from seed to growing to full maturity. And last we have this nonfiction book called Sunflower by Kate Riggs. And so this one is um, kind of a, it's aimed at a younger audience, but it has um, some like more advanced vocabulary. So it might be um, a good one for like helping build that scientific vocabulary. And it talks about um, flower, these sunflowers and it gives uh, close-ups of what they look like and how they're used and some aspects of like the different like species and such and how they grow from seed to full flower. So it's a very interesting book with a lot of good uh, photographs in it. Thanks everybody for watching this video. Remember you can pick up your pre-K packet either at the lower floor desk or in drive through and we hope to see you soon. Um, remember we're doing story times now uh, at 1030 on Mondays, Tuesdays and Wednesdays and we'll have more pre-K packet content for you uh, every other week.